guys are going to love, love, love our next guest. So he uh, got a degree in archaeology and is concerned about the mountains of plastic that are mounting up in our oceans. So please put your hands together for Jessica Searles. Come on Thank out you. and tell us about these oceans. What's up, Las Vegas? Yeah, all this ocean plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You got to hug heart to heart. This well, is we have microphones on. Energy. Oh, OK. Oh, true. Yeah, well, that's yeah. a strong hug, yeah. Yeah, I'm a strong person. <laughs> I can tell, yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, you're, you're kind of an archaeologist, right? I mean, you've got a degree in archaeology. Yes. Do you do it for a living? Do you call yourself an archaeologist? Well, actually, it was a funny thing. I was living in Egypt. I wanted to be an Egyptologist, and I'm Christian, and they were persecuting Christians in Egypt at the time. So I wound up transferring back, and I got scouted as a runway model. Then I did a lot of modeling in LA, and so I've kind of just made my way in my life as a model, yeah. and I have calendars out it's now. My, that's my story, too. Yes. Right? It's just stupid life. <laughs> it just happened. I, I was honestly planning on digging in the dirt, and I, that didn't work out. So I'm here now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just can imagine that Jurassic Park moment when you find the amber. One so. day, I, I do yeah. want to go back to archaeology. I still want to get my doctorate. It's my goal. So. Oh, great. OK, but on the way there, you've been an entrepreneur in a number of ways. Yes. Um, and this this ocean problem. Talk, right. talk to me about what's going on in the ocean. OK. And the gy gyre? It's a gyre. A gyre. Yeah. Okay. So this is the swirling. There's five gyres that are actually in the ocean, which accumulate to over the size of Europe. So um, the greatest gyre is the Great Northern Gyre. It's located in the North Pacific Ocean. Yeah. And it's estimated to be two times the size of Texas. Um, we don't know exactly how much trash is. There's just estimates, because it's in our deep sea, and it's actually frozen in an Arctic. Okay, and it's not just like if I was to look at it, is it just garbage? Is it just water bottles as far as no, I can see? It's not like that? just. What do, you, what do you see? What does it look like? There's debris. I mean, you can. There's like boats of pictures of boats that you are just like swimming through. It creates its own tide. It's its own channel. It's insane, and all of our animals, our marine life, like they eat this. Yeah. Zooplankton is the, what feeds all the marine life, and that's just being destroyed. It's in their bodies, and when a marine animal eats this. We essentially eat marine animals. All of us eat fish, right? Everyone likes sushi. So then we're essentially all eating plastic and all these chemical debris that are being washed into our water systems um, via even a car wash. So one of my entrepreneur's skills is I, I am a partner in a company called Trini Glow. And it's a completely waterless car wash system that's 100% organic. It's completely biodegradable. Wait, no water? No water. So you just like blow air on the car and call it clean? Yeah, we have it. It's, it's like they're pressurized. And we have a solution. It was patented in 1991 in Trinidad. And we've been in business since 1991. So we have three up and running Trini Glows in Los Angeles. And I have three mobile detail vans. And I'm just signing a contract now to have our first Trini Glow. It's a three set three-step system, and it requires a human to use. So I want to bring back jobs to America. Can it replace showers? Like, can I just? Trigo. Okay, actually, you I get should blown think about by a giant fan what you have to think about is um, what's being clear. sifted into our water and our sewage system. So yeah. plastic and trash that is actually coming through your shower onto your body, and your skin is your largest organ that you have. So everything that touches your skin, what you put yeah. on your skin, is essentially going inside of your system, and it's creating an autoimmune disease like diabetes or there are others, you know that we've seen happen over the last 100 years, over the last 50 years. And you're like, why do so many people have Alzheimer's? Why do we have all these diseases that are just okay. manifesting? So you're saying even in the long run, just shower water could be, uh, yes. could be containing Yes, it's already these, affected these... by it. It's not uh, could be, it's already happened. See, because like, like, you know, you eat meat, and they're like, oh, it's full of hormones. And you're like, I'll take a salad. Yeah. And they're like, oh, pesticides, all stuff. And then I, you're like, yeah. like well, I can't shower. I got to blow dry well, my shower. Well, as a society, we need to change. We yeah. have to wake up, and I think that we have a lot lot of young entrepreneurs in our world that are excited about changing our cultures and our systems. Yeah, I think so too. You yeah. know? Um, so unfortunately, these giant companies are keeping our media contained from knowing what's really going on. What yeah, nobody really holds us eating. back, though. Yeah, no. I have no one talking. Yeah. I just say it like it is. No All filter. Right. But um, <laughs> yeah, so they, I mean, they want to they want to control us. They want to keep us capitalized. Because if they had to change their systems, they would essentially be going out of business. And then there's no money. And that's really what's keeping these people from telling yeah. you that you're, you're becoming sick. We're all becoming sick. You yeah. know, we're all dying faster. It's just, it's amazing that our society wants to do that. Right, well, it's, it's the bottom line for dollars sometimes. But uh, we're almost kind of running low on time. So why don't you talk to me a little bit about uh, this calendar that you're doing I do, to sort yeah. of support it? Yeah, I work for Cover Models. I have four calendars that are right now. And I just got word that I'm working on two more. So they're 16-month calendars. 
And um, I'm signing with a distributor on Saturday, which is really exciting. So nice. stay tuned for that. You can keep, um, I'll keep you updated if you go on my Facebook or on my website. And I'm Jessica Searles. It's spelled like curls, but with an S, just to keep it really simple for everybody. And um, I'll keep you updated. So they're fun. Okay. I like to do so it. So as a, as a final call to action, if people don't want to shower and stuff that gives them all Alzheimer's, like what, what do you think people should do? Like what do no, you, no, no. Like okay. what's, what's a good, you guys, there is solutions. The solution. I don't want to yeah. just like create a problem. That's like not my goal. My goal, um, I'm actually creating a process and creating yeah. a show right now that's going to explain how as a society, as a culture, that we can make these changes nice. that aren't so dramatic. It's not so scary. It's just very small things that we need to do to revolutionize our culture. Essentially, humans need to evolve. We can't just sit and just stay stagnant. I mean, no one in culture wants to do that. Why don't we all want to become better as a people and heal our world? Um, we, there are ships that have been created that suck up the trash that's in the ocean. The trash can be reconverted into oil, and so we essentially have to stop taking oil from other countries. We can bring back jobs to America and essentially bring back this powerhouse nation that we've kind of lost within this war. So just go clean up all this plastic. We got to clean up the trash. Okay. Um, the thing is, it's just it's going to take a long time, but you have to also think about global warming and what the trash is doing to our climate and our ecosystem. This is also affecting global warming. What will happen within the next 30 years is we're going to see huge amounts of storms, huge amount of flooding, and there are going to be over 5 million people that are displaced with their homes. Bye-bye, Florida, by 2080. Well, you, can't if say we goodbye 2080. To, you can't say goodbye to Florida. No, Florida is four feet like, below sea level. They're all gone? By 2080, it's projected that its sea levels will rise over eight inches, you know? That's a huge deal. Yeah, eight inches is a huge it's deal. It's a huge deal, because it's already risen over eight inches. And when that yeah. happens, we're going to see so much of Florida actually start sinking. Yeah. You know, not just Florida alone, but California and other areas. Come on board with me. I want to save the world. Everybody takes it. It's a team. There's no iron team. Um, just email me at jms, period, s-u-r-l-s, -S, at gmail.com. And we can join forces, and you can help become a part of a new world. Captain Planet. Okay, Woo! yeah, we got Damn it. it. All right, thank you so much for thank coming you, out. Thank I appreciate you. talking about it. So, yeah. Thanks. That's great.